These Toy Tech coilovers on this third gen Tacoma absolutely blew the heck up, but a sure shiitake ain't Toy Tech's fault, so let's talk about it. These photos were posted on the Tacoma Nation page on Facebook the other day, and a lot of people in the comments were chiming in mostly incorrect things about what happened and why, and well, a lot of people were coming for Toy Tech when they definitely weren't the problem here. Now to somebody like us in the know, we can immediately see the problem. And if you zoom in, obviously that shaft is leaned over in the body and it's blown apart. And upon further inspection, you can totally see that seal head sitting on the shaft. And if we're looking at the shaft, if we're considering this is right height, well, it's a lot of shaft showing. For those of you guys unfamiliar with how shocks work, the seal head is the piece that not only seals the shock, but also is pretty much the only thing locating the shaft and holding everything together. Basically, when you blow that seal head out like this owner did, well, that shaft can kind of do whatever it wants. And really, the only thing holding this thing together is the fact that you'd never be able to fully extend that shaft out of the body without other things binding. Now, why did this happen? Well, if you look up here, you can tell there are two very large preload adjustments. Not only was this first one too big and probably too much preload for the coilover as it is, the owner went up again a second time and pushed things further. Not only is this an enormous amount of spring force that that strut has to try to contain, this truck is probably sitting topped out at ride height, meaning there is absolutely no down travel. So just driving down the street, it was beating that seal head until it blew it out, which we can see on that shaft, and now you get what we have here. Yeah. I don't have 100% confirmation here, but one would assume, being that this is a third gen, like a lot of you guys out there, they were trying to get three inches of lift, which just isn't really feasible on the application. They ride on the same platform as the second gen, sit an inch higher, which means three inches of lift is four inches on the platform. And to be able to have enough down travel to actually work at that lift height, the control arm would have to pass through the coilover, which obviously isn't possible unless you have a portal gun. So for you guys with third gen Tacomas looking to get three inches of lift, there's not going to be a way to do it well. Stick to two inches, you'll be a lot happier, and make sure you are looking at the recommended maximum preload on the coilovers you have, because if you go too far, this is what happens.